Good afternoon. My name is Dr. Christopher Shino, and I am the founder and chief medical officer at the Keratoconus Center of Long Island. The reason I'm making this video is that uh, in this clinic, we see many, many patients with keratoconus who come in and are very, very unhappy with the way their lenses are performing, whether it's comfort-wise, visual, both, dryness, uh, lenses falling off even, uh, but generally unhappy. And given the fact that keratoconic patients essentially depend on their contact lenses to see uh, for big, big portions of the day, um, comfort is very, very important, as is stability of vision. And with regular gas permeable lenses, which are the lenses that most uh, patients who have uh, keratoconus are in, are in um, it's very, very difficult to achieve that uh, on many patients. Um, some patients do well with them. Uh, the vast majority of them, I think if there was a better option, uh, they would be very uh, anxious to hear about it. And again, that's the reason I'm making this video because there is a much better um, product that could be used. Um, basically, the, the lens we use uh, to solve those problems more than anything today is a lens called a scleral lens. And a scleral lens is a lens that... Um, actually it doesn't touch the cornea at all. It's quite interesting. It actually rests on the white part of the eye, which is called the sclera, and it actually vaults or jumps over the cornea. Uh, so there is no corneal contact, which is in, uh, very, very uh, good for numerous reasons, not the least of which is that uh, the cornea is uh, in a situation where it doesn't interact with the lens. So the chances of scarring, uh, the chances of uh, any real progression in a negative way uh, of the keratoconus uh, disease process because of the lens is greatly reduced or eliminated because the lens uh, just doesn't touch the cornea. Also, in between the lens and the eye is a reservoir of sterile saline solution that actually keeps the eye moist all day, uh, keeps the vision stable, uh, keeps the lens in place, um, and uh, overall makes a much, much better situation. Most patients say that this lens is actually more comfortable than even their soft lenses are. Uh, and again, it's made basically because of the size and because of the fact that it doesn't touch the cornea. So I, I wanted to show uh, uh, the patients here uh, a little bit about um, what a scleral lens is, the benefits of it, uh, how it looks, um, you know, uh, and this, just to learn a little bit more about this uh, so that when you do come into the clinic, you have a little bit of a better idea of what we actually uh, can offer you and why it is such a good idea uh, to do so. So let's take a little walk into the exam room and we're going to show you how this actually uh, uh, is done. Okay, this is our little office right here. Um, and what I'm going to show you actually is we're going to go over what a scleral lens is and why, why it's important. Okay, I'm going to draw a little diagram uh, to start with. And uh, the diagram is going to show um, sort of what I'm, what I'm talking about in, in a graphical way, okay? Now, if you look over here, normally a cornea looks like a nice smooth arc like this, okay? Patients, patients with keratoconus, a lot of times their corneas could look sort of more like this, okay? So, you know, if we were to put glasses in front of this eye right here, okay, that eyeglass lens, the best job that we could do it still really wouldn't work well because the light still has to leave the back of those glasses and, uh, and come through the cornea. Now you see this cornea, when it's normal, the light passes through, goes to a nice point focus right here, the vision's nice and clear. If we tried the same thing with this eye, if we put a pair of glasses in front of this eye, when the light left the back of this lens, it would get all skewed. And basically what you're seeing here is that there are multiple focal points on this cornea because it isn't smooth. That's called irregular astigmatism, and that's the reason most keratoconic patients don't really see very well, okay? But what we do about that, and it, what is the case of the scleral lens, is if we have a patient that has, uh, once again, here's an irregular cornea right here, okay? And what we do is we actually put on the scleral lens as if it was a prosthetic cornea. We actually put it on so that it actually jumps over the cornea, like this, doesn't touch it, and comes to rest on the white part of the eye, which is called the sclera. 
This little space in between here is filled with 0.9% sterile saline solution, basically normal sterile saline solution. And that keeps the eye moist all day. It also provides a uniform optical media that will fill in all these irregularities and allow that nice smooth vision like we saw before in the regular cornea, okay? So what does a scleral lens look like? Well, I'm gonna show you right now. Um, I'm actually gonna take out one of my favorites. I'm gonna just put the camera down right over here uh, for a moment. And I'm gonna show you one of my favorites that we use quite a bit here. Okay, um, this is our custom Corrado CAD lenses right here. I'm going to show you. And the lens is about the size of a dime, uh, about the size of the coin. It's about 15 millimeters. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just kind of hold the lens up and I'm going to show you what it looks like. Okay, so here is the scleral lens right here. Okay, and you could see that it looks like a regular contact lens, okay? All right, and you could see by scale, this is the lens right next to a top of a normal contact lens case. And you're gonna see that the lens is about the same size. I'm just gonna try to line it up a little bit better. You can see it's about the same size um, you know, as a, about, it's a dime, about the size of a dime, and you can see it in scale next to the top. Um, and again, the size is a virtue. The size actually makes the lens much, much more comfortable because it, this, what makes a, the regular traditional gas perm lenses not so comfortable is that they're, because they're small, they're very small. They're about usually between six to nine and a half millimeters wide. And what happens is the lid actually interacts with the lens constantly, and the lens is just sent back and forth, um, you know, and, and it constantly is moving and making uh, the situation very uncomfortable, okay? Now, I wanted to show you, um, again, this is a schematic. This is a schematic of a scleral lens, okay? Just like we did before, and you could see that, um, you have the cornea, which is irregular, okay? You have the um, you have the sclera that the lens is resting on, and you can see that that fluid reservoir is in there that keeps the eye uh, nice and moist and happy, and you're still getting that hard lens vision, which we all like from the gas perms, but you're not getting all that uncomfortable feeling uh, and all those negatives that we talked about before about the regular gas perm lenses. So that gives you a little bit of a graphical idea. Um, and the next picture I have to show you is a scleral lens actually on one of our patient's eyes. Um, and uh, this is a patient that was failed with regular um, contacts, uh, regular hard lenses. You could actually see around the perimeter of the colored part of the eye you could see the edge of the lens there, and that's actually the only part of the lens that touches the eye, um, which is, again, not to sound like a broken record, but that's where uh, the comfort comes from. There really is no corneal contact. The cornea is where most of the innervation of the eye is, and uh, if that's not being touched, the comfort uh, really skyrockets. Um, so that is an example there. And, you know, there's numerous other applications for it. Uh, one of the other applications we have, because the lens is such a uh, moisturizing force on the eye, we actually prescribe these lenses for people that don't even have keratoconus and uh, have just a really, really dry eye problem that uh, we try to fix with medications or procedures or uh, lubricants, but none of it really worked. And uh, that moisturizing function and the protection from evaporation and the protection from lid shear of the, you know, in between blinks, the cornea, uh, when it's dry, being rubbed, uh, all of that is solved with scleral lenses. Now, being a keratoconic patient, um, that's just an added benefit to you. So uh, these lenses uh, have really revolutionized uh, our keratoconic practice here. And, um, you know, it's something that it seems that a lot of patients just still are not aware of, uh, which is, again, why I'm making this video, um, because it is uh, a very viable 
uh, very, very successful. I would say uh, our, our gas perm refits, where we fit people from hard lenses into sclerals, our success rate with them is probably somewhere close to 90%. Um, and uh, most patients are extremely happy and, and would never go back. Um, you know, at our clinic, we actually offer a free consultation uh, for all patients with keratoconus or any other uh, corneal issues that uh, would benefit from this technology, dry eye, what have you, uh, to come in for a free consultation. We actually uh, have you in, we, we map the cornea, we try the lens on you um, and allow you to see the vision, the comfort, uh, just really see what this lens has to offer. And uh, the vast majority of patients are absolutely stunned that this existed and uh, they'd ne they've never heard about it. So um, I encourage you uh, to come in to come see us um, or to at least research this technology for yourself. Um, we, again, are at the Keratoconus Center of Long Island. We're in, located in Belmore, New York. Um, our phone number here is area code 516-409-2020. Uh, our website is www.keratoconusdoc.com. Um, my name again is Dr. Christopher Shino. I'd be more than happy to, uh, uh, to speak with you if you called, um, or you could speak with one of my staff and they will uh, get you uh, uh, connected with me at some point. Uh, but there is really, really a lot of excitement and buzz about this new lens technology. And uh, if you do suffer from keratoconus or pellucid marginal degeneration uh, or have um, uh, had a bad LASIK procedure or RK procedure where the cornea is now irregular and probably dry, um, if you just suffer from dry eye or Sjogren syndrome or um, any other issues medic medication related or otherwise, uh, with the eyes, uh, really these lenses are uh, quite a useful therapeutic device. Uh, again, I look forward to uh, speaking with anyone that would like to call us. Uh, the number again, 516-409-2020. Uh, the website, uh, www.keratoconusdoc.com. Uh, again, I look forward to speaking with you. I appreciate uh, you spending your time with us and learning a little bit about scleral lenses. Uh, and I'd be very uh, anxious to speak with you and look forward to meeting you. Have a great day.